Hello everybody, Andrew Walker here, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a restaurant I worked at and how my experiences at that restaurant affected me. I apologize if you hear any cars in the distance. I uh, like to record my videos outside. <laughs> For about two years, my first two years of college more or less, I worked at a restaurant. It was a buffet style restaurant. It was very exhausting and demanding because we had so many people constantly coming in. You know, we were a college town after all. But I think the most rewarding part of that job, despite the uh, physical toll it took on me, was the people there, the friends I made. I made some of my first friends in college through that job. And I went to some of my first college parties. I thought I was doing everything right, you know? I had a job, my grades were good. And maybe if things didn't work out after college, I could work at this restaurant full time. So what happened? Well, about a year and a half in, I started questioning whether or not I was getting what I truly wanted out of that job. Whether or not I was just putting things in and not getting anything back. And the reason I wondered that was, for the last year of my job, I had been working my ass off. I'd been volunteering for extra shifts. I'd been doing everything I thought I needed to, to get promoted, to work my way up. And in the fall, before I quit, when several new positions opened up, for the next promotional spot, I thought to myself, well, this is my opportunity. You know, there's nobody else in the running who has the experience that I do, who knows the restaurant like I do. It's gotta be me. It didn't work out like that. I got passed up for the promotion. And at first I shrugged it off. I thought to myself, well, you know, shit happens. Sometimes you don't get promoted. But then I looked a little bit closer at who did get promoted. I saw that the people who were promoted were all friends with the management. Despite the fact that they had worked there less than me, it seems that management valued them more than me. And as I saw them on Facebook tagged in photos together, and I saw the way they interacted, I realized something. They were in a clique, and I was out of it. So I quit that job, and I started working at a gas station, where I worked for a little while, about six months. And the more time I spent there, the more I kept spending time in my head, and the more I kept thinking about the job that I once had. And I started to think about something. As I was sitting on those lonely shifts at night at the gas station with nothing but my thoughts and my blunt, I realized that maybe I opened up a little bit too much. Maybe I thought I would get so much out of this job and then when it turns out I got nothing, it hurt me. And as the months went on and I thought about it more and more, I grew resentful. The happy memories I had at that restaurant were replaced by feelings of anger, of betrayal. I started to wonder if I had wasted two years of my life. And this was coming at a time when I was also starting to question whether or not I cared about college. And now that I've had a little bit more time to think about it, I think the thing that that restaurant taught me, well, two things mainly. The first thing that it taught me was that I'm a solitary person. It doesn't really matter how hard I try to fit into a group of people, how hard I think I can work to get into a friend group that I like. I'm an outsider looking in. And after I got a dog, after the job was finished, I was happy with this dog, and I realized that I didn't really need the friendships that I had there. And that sort of comes into my second realization. You can't always emotionally invest into things that you're not going to get something in return out of. And that's why at my new job now, I'm being very careful, very cautious. It's also a restaurant, and the people there have been very nice to me. The age range is a little bit more diverse than what I worked with at the restaurant where it was mostly college students. So I thought to myself, well, maybe this could be a new opportunity for me. But I've worked at that restaurant for a while now and something that strikes me is how quiet I am. I don't really speak unless I'm addressing customers or I'm talking about work. I very rarely join in on conversations that my coworkers are having when it's slow. I think that restaurant put in me a subconscious fear of connecting to people. Because when I did connect, when it all came together, so to speak, it fell apart. And now I'm sort of left wondering, 
was the experiences I had at that job a good thing and that it allowed me to realize my true character? Or was it something that traumatized me in a way that I can't really think of yet? For the last couple months, I've been pretty much completely by myself. I started this YouTube channel mainly as a way to express my thoughts because I had no one to speak to. So was it this restaurant that made me into a solitary person? Was it those hours and hours of good times and friendship I had, seeing them in the context of being snubbed for leadership and having my work disregarded? Was it that that caused me to retreat inward? It seems like it. And I said I learned things from this job, that I was a solitary person. But even now, I have to ask myself, am I really solitary or am I just afraid? So my question today is directed towards people like me, who are lonely, who suffer from social anxiety. Do you feel as if you're missing out? Or do you feel as if you're living life the way you ought? And even if you don't have social anxiety, even if you're just a solitary person who doesn't really like people, do you think you're getting the most out of it? Because I've been asking myself, am I making the most out of my life right now? And I don't know. And so, well, maybe you guys do. Thanks for listening.